The first main function of Zeiss Visualize is the standardized collection of refractive data. I'm going to show you now the options to fill your database and what to consider when entering data to the software. As mentioned, the first workflow step is the collect data. Here you can see a list of all collected patient records in the database. For nomograms and any other outcomes analysis in refractive surgery, the pre-op, OP and post-OP refractive data is necessary. So this is what you can find here at the left hand side. In order to collect new data, you can either select a patient from the list and add the data to this existing record, or you create a new patient via this Add New Patient button. When you hit this button, you get a pop-up window. Here you can choose a unique patient ID and the date of birth. as well as the gender and hit the OK button. Now this patient is automatically selected to collect now the patient information for the pre-op, OP and post-OP assessments. Let's have a look at an existing patient record. What data do we need? So for the pre-op, the examination date is important. And then you enter the manifest refraction for the patient, sphere, cylinder, and axis. The spherical equivalent is always automatically calculated. And then you enter the visual QT information if possible and if available. This is very valuable information if you want to create statistical analysis later on. You will get drop downs based on the selected visual QT notation for uncorrected visual QT and for the corrected visual QT. Also, please have a look at the very bottom of the user interface and the user will get some information on uh, what is the needed information so that the user get us more guidance through the software. Next is the OP information. Here you need to enter the operation date, the surgeon's name to be able to filter by these later, the laser as well as the treatment type. The next step would be to enter the actual treatment correction, sphere, cylinder, axis, as well as the target information, meaning the target refraction of the patient and uh, manifest refraction that the patient should have postoperatively. And the third part would be the post-op information. Here you can add new examinations to this existing patient record, enter the examination date again, manifest refraction, sphere cylinder axis, as well as visual acuity information, and save this data. And based on the data, especially the examination date, this examination and follow-up will fall into the specific time interval, like one month, three months, six months, etc. If users want to import old data that were already collected, for example, for the Zeiss user nomogram service or from exports of EMR systems, they can do this via the import button and uh, by using the visualized import template, which comes with the installation process.